Regulating services are all the processes that people benefit from by the actions of the natural world. So nature acts to regulate water to protect us from floods and droughts and it does that in a number of ways. It will soak up the rainwater, it will hold the flood water as it comes downstream and it will hold on to that water in drier times and release it back into the river to maintain river levels. My name is Mark Barnett, I'm a catchment coordinator for the Environment Agency. The benefits of reconnecting the rivers with their natural floodplains for regulatory services are many. For example, over here we have a farmer's field on a slope. During a rainfall event, the water will land there and it will wash down the slope, taking with it any sediment or nutrients from the crop and it will drain into this grassland here where this grassland will purify it by letting the sediments filter out and settle out and it will also soak up the nutrients so that by the time the water flows into the river below me it will be purified of anything that got washed off the farmer's field. There are a whole range of benefits woodlands can facilitate and provide in the water agenda. They are helping protect the river banks. They're providing shade over watercourses in the summer, so you're not getting situations where fish are suffering from very high temperatures. Key thing with trees and woodland is, as they grow, they absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and convert it into solid carbon in the wood. When you coppice that woodland and burn that wood, you are only releasing the carbon that that woodland has absorbed over the last few years. And that's the key thing, that one doesn't harvest more than the wood is growing at any given time. Well, my name is Anna Verhoef and I work in the area of um, soil physics and micrometeorology at the University of Reading. Most people think of soil as something that sits in their garden, they have some plants growing on it, it's a medium for, for growing crops, but, but really it's also very important in regulating our climate. So soil can store water, but it can also, when we have moist soils, it can actually make the severity of a heat wave much less than when we have dry soils, because of the feedbacks between the soil, the plants and the atmosphere. My name is Charlotte Elliott. I work for Natural England. I'm a land management advisor on the Hampshire Countryside team. Natural England are tasked under the Natural Environment and Rural Communities Act to look after the environment for today's generation and for future generations in support of sustainable growth. For instance, here we're standing amongst a historic parkland. This habitat needs managing, it needs to have cattle or sheep grazing it and we help fund that and also looking after these veteran trees which will support an awful lot of wildlife. Another aspect would be conversion from arable land into more natural habitat. So there's a field that used to grow potatoes here and that's now a wet grassland which will obviously offer services in terms of flood storage but also be home for a myriad of different wildlife species.